Hello and good morning again, guys. If you did not see it already, I made a video just a couple of days ago about a pair of Bluetooth headphones, which technically I'm about to start testing. I'm doing these two videos in tandem, so you can go back and see the other one, or you can watch this one or both. I'll put a link down in the description. But today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this 2500 milliamp hour protective case and power bank for the iPhone 7 while also checking out these Bluetooth headphones. Again, link in the description for the video about the headphones. Let's get started. And here we have the case. Now this does show branding of Basius, but everything else I've seen so far has said Soul Memo. Doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. Here's some specs of the product on the back. It says the input and outputs five volts at one amp. Battery capacity of 2500 milliamp hour for the 4.7 inch iPhone, 3650 milliamp hour if you buy the one for the iPhone 7 Plus. You've got size and weight on there. Let me go ahead and open it up. There's the case with a little guide on the inside showing you how to install it and lots of stuff in Chinese. And there's a small sticker here at the bottom that says long press three seconds for on and off. I go ahead and peel that off. And it said somewhere on there that it was a plaid finish. I do kind of really like this reflective finish on the back. And there's your Basius branding, which I'm not a huge fan of. But the thing that made this unique and sort of interesting to me was not that it was just another cell phone charging case for the iPhone 7. I've got a couple of those at this point. It's two things. One, this is all one piece. So you just slip it over the phone. You don't have to take anything apart. And two, the port here on the bottom is a lightning port. Now it did not come with a lightning cable, so that's a bit of a bummer, but the case is currently right now sitting at $30 on Amazon, so if it came with a cable, well, for that price, I wouldn't expect one. We'll put it that way. So I guess let's see if this has any charge in it. We'll hold this for three seconds. It shows three out of the four LEDs came on, which means it should have some charge in it. And then to install the phone, basically what you're supposed to do is slide it in so the port connects and pushes in, and then pop in one corner and two corners and it's on, and the case is on there. Power button works fine, volume rockers work fine. I can still reach the notification toggle, although it's a little difficult to get my fingernail in there. Not that bad though. And really, I don't use the notification toggle all that often. The one thing I will say I noticed about this, the screen is actually raised up just a little bit here. So this is not offering any real protection for the screen. This is literally just acting as a battery case. Your speakers do show through here on the bottom, so you're not gonna be losing anything there. Camera's open, of course, so it shouldn't be blocked by anything. Of course, the phone is currently at 100%, so I can't really test charging it, but that's what we'll do over the course of the next few hours. And when I did go ahead and hold that button to turn it on again, you can see up here, it does have a charging icon going right now. So even though it's 100%, it is trying to charge it. So we'll just go ahead and turn that off for the moment. And you may have seen it in the other video already. The headphones, the August headphones I'm gonna be taking a look at are dead. So I'm gonna put this whole thing on hold until the headphones charge for a little while. And then we'll be right back to do some tests over time. And in case you were curious, I've gone ahead and plugged in a lightning cable, plugged it into my laptop just to see if it could do data pass through and charging at the same time. And when I come into iMovie, I can see I am connected to my iPhone 7. I'm able to get access to all of my pictures and videos on here. I can actually play this video live of where we went to a hibachi restaurant a little while back. So that's a big plus. If you're all lightning cables, if that's all you've got, you're covered. And what I'm gonna be doing here, my phone is still at 100%, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up apps like Netflix and YouTube and music players and whatnot, and just sit here and listen to music using these headphones while trying to run the battery down. I'll also have Pokemon Go running, so that'll just thoroughly eat through the battery. And I'll let you know what happens. All right, a few hours later, I managed to run the phone down to about 69 or 70%, and then put the case back on it and turned it on, went out for a drive and just left Pokemon Go running, put it in the cup holder and forgot about it. So the screen was on the entire entire time and whenever I checked the phone again, it was still at 70%. To get it down to 70%, I actually had it running with Pokemon Go on it, and it was just draining so, so fast. So even at 5 volt 1 amp, it was able to keep up with the drain of Pokemon Go, and then once I actually closed the app and turned the screen off, in a little over an hour, it went from 70% back up to 100%, so about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Which is not blindingly fast or anything, but it's about what you would expect at 5 volts at 1 amp. Obviously, the iPhone can charge faster than that if you're plugging it in directly, but that's just what this case in particular offers. And even though I did not charge the case all the way up, even after charging that 30% of the battery back up, I've still got three out of four lights. So it looks like it's gonna be useful for a good long while. It's thoroughly, easily going to be able to make it through at least a couple of days. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap things up. For 30 bucks to be able to pick up a case like this that does have a lightning port. That's the biggest thing for me. It's got a very nice, comfortable design and a lightning port that does pass through data. It means you don't have to carry two cables around if you're only an iPhone user. I am a big fan of that. So links to where you can find this can be found down in the description as per usual. Make sure to hit that thumbs up down below the video if you like the video about this. Also, if you've not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified whenever I do put out new videos. And check out the video about the headphones I've also been working on. I'll have a link to that down below. Thank you guys as always for watching. We'll see you next time.